This is but one of the legends of which the people speak. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where a golden power lay hidden. It was a prosperous land, blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. But one day, a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. With its strength as his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But then, when all hope had died and the hour of doom seemed at hand, A young boy clothed in green appeared as if from nowhere. Wielding the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the dark one away and gave the land light. This boy who travelled through time to save the land was known as the Hero of Time. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. But then, a day came when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. The great evil that all had thought had been sealed away forever by the hero. once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. The people believed that the hero of time would again come to save them. But the hero did not appear. Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. In their last hour, as doom drew nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. On a certain island, it became customary to guard boys in green when they came of age. Clothed in the green of fields, they aspired to find heroic blades and cast down evil. The elders wished only for the youths to know courage like the hero of legend. And with that, we come to Outset Island. What's up guys, it's Daz here. Be don't really care, it's a time for Let's Play number 3, Wind Waker HD. Big Brother! Jesus, do we have enough seagulls? Okay, that was not Big Brother, that was HOI! <laughs> wow, so in Link language, there's HOI and HA that all mean Big Brother. Three syllables for just one sound. Okay. Well. I knew you'd be here. Okay, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> this is my favourite spot to gaze out to the sea. When I play with the goals, I call it a reals lookout. So, do you remember what day it is today? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? 
Big Brother, it's your birthday! Oh. That's why Grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll, yeah, alright then. Let's go. So, as you can see, everything's in HD. Look at that blooming sunlight. Wow. Now let's jump to our death or not. Oh, that didn't hurt. Oh, I thought it always hurt. Okay, well this Link is the most powerful Link so far then. If he doesn't take full damage, then I am I am very happy. We're going to go see Grandma. Now you may be wondering, is there going to be extra gameplay? Well yeah, because I honestly never played Wind Waker as a child. So, yeah! First practice playthrough ever! So yeah, you'll be seeing me occasionally, because this is blind. Why is this blind, you ask? I'll probably come to that later. Ah uh, yes, so there's going to be many of the fun times, and what are you doing? I just saw a wild, a wild pig! Ooh, see? Look, that black one there. Don't you see him? This is perfect. My wife was just telling me she really wanted a pet. You ready to go grab it, Daz? Now, you can't just run up on it. Pigs are too alert to their surroundings for you to just jog up and capture one. If you want to get close to one, you have to hold ZR to crouch and tilt L to crawl slowly up behind it. Slowly. You could also distract it with bait, I guess. I could do that. And I'll... Do it here, look, see? But I don't really want to. Because, never mind. Let's go. Grandma wants us, and I'm going to ignore everything else in the world for Grandma, because... Because I don't really want to be in this world if there's kids with, like, 10-inch snot bags coming out of their nose. Ugh. Grandma. Are you here? You're... Up in the bunk bed or something? Oh, there you are. I've been waiting for you, Daz. Daz. Why don't I have to put on such a pathetic old woman voice? Try these on. Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. Yeah, he got the hero's clothes. They look like they may be warm for this weather. Hmm. <laughs> They sparkle, that's gonna be something good. Don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is a day to celebrate. It is a day that you become the same age as the young heroes spoken of in all the legends. You only have to wear them for one day, so don't look so down. Be proud, child. In the olden days, this was the day boys were considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about swordplay. Hanging the family shield on the wall with decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those days. Does all this make sense to you? Yeah, I guess. Isn't that nice, Daz? They suit you perfectly. A perfect fit. Well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party, so I'd better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma is going to make your favourite soup for you tonight. Hmm. I just know you're looking forward to it. Now, go get your sister, Ariel. It's weird being, like, saying Ariel because it's such an unusual name and it's kind of like my name, which is Daryl. So it's like you just add a D and take away an extra L and it's, ugh, it's odd. And is this a, is these selfies? These are, these are literally selfies. Link and grandma... I don't even know. Are you just grandma? You're not. You're not grandma. Li oh no. What have I done? Go call her out. Okay, yeah. So, ah, uh, selfies in this game. Man, I'm gonna have fun with that. Oh boy. Anyway. <clears throat> I don't care what you have to say. I'm not going to get my sister. I'm gonna climb under grandma's house and I'm gonna go get me some treasure because we have plenty of time. So hold on. Hold on, I'm just gonna crawl through here, look very awkwardly at Link's, or sorry, Daz's polygonal buttocks, and we're gonna get over here. Huh? Hi. I like how his, I like how his eyes like glow. It's, it's kind, of, it's like a, he has cat eyes. Link has cat eyes. Yeah. You got an orange rupee. Just one of these is worth 100 rupees. Your face is beaming. So as per usual, well, actually no, the the Zelda games have different. Like, the value of rupees changes each time. So, 
I guess I'll put on screen how much they're worth. I know green ones have always been one worth one, except for in the CDI ones. So you got reds, which I assume is like... Oh, I don't know, I'm getting stuck with Twilight Princess ones. So just look at those. Plus my color blindness doesn't really help me tell which is which. Now I think before I go and get my sister, I'm going to go and get as many sort of collectibles and fun stuff and rubies, or rupees, sorry, as I can. I don't know why I said ruby. That's probably because I thought this was red. Yeah, how's that for colorblind? I saw purple as red. That was blue, wasn't it? Okay, well, here we go. Just jump over here and Link automatically... Yeah, I'm going to call him Link because calling myself Daz is really weird. I don't know why, but yeah. Link automatically jump... What are you doing? Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Link automatically jumps when you go towards an edge, so you don't need to... There's no jump button. There's a roll button. It's not very helpful, but yeah. Now, I think we're going to go into this house here. Hope you don't mind. Hello. And... No one's home, but the lights are... Well, I guess they're candles. Wait, this house is made of wood. Surely the whole house should be burning down right now. Wow. Okay. Well, I... I guess fire's not really a big problem, considering the entire world is just a massive ocean sea. But anyway, uh... Ooh, a treasure. Let's go and get it. You got a red rupee. That's 20 rupees. What a pleasant surprise. Yes, that's right. So, red rupees are 20. Blue, I assume, are 10. Something's 5. Orange, no, yellow. I don't know. I'm colorblind, I can't tell. Let's just... I'm not gonna talk about that. Who cares? So, yeah. Legend of Zelda. The Wind Waker HD. I think I'm doing pretty good with this whole Let's Play thing so far. I'm going on the big franchises, you know? I've got a little bit of Mario, got a little bit of Pikmin, and now I've got a little bit of Zelda. What else could there be, I wonder? And what are you looking at? There, there's, there's nothing here. Are, are you okay? All right, let's go. Let's go to... Oh, okay. No, never mind. We don't, we don't die. Now, actually, in this game, for once in Link's ever lifetime of existing, he drowns in water. Probably because, you know... You don't want to swim forever, like, all the way to these islands over there. And wow, they're actually... It's really cool you can actually see these islands. Like, they're not just background that will always be there. You can go to those islands individually, and I like the shadows. It's... Wait. The stairs are, like, flashing. Or maybe that's just my TV. But anyway. Enough diddle-daddling. That's not even the right phrase. Let's go to our... Wow, how... Seagulls. Seriously, calm down, please. Ah, hoi, big brother. Did Grandma make that outfit for you? But wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. I guess they're pretty neat though. So anyway, Daz, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand for a second? Or just for a second? I can't read, if you couldn't tell by the introduction with a bajillion one mistakes. I'm gonna give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Happy birthday! You got the telescope. This is your sister's most precious belonging. Treasure it dearly. And I like how Ariel's just sit, like, standing like a grandmother. She's just like, <laughs> Set it to blah, 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 the gamepad. So, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow this special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> oh, why don't, why don't you try it out? Right now, try looking over at our house from here. Okay, now, what you can do with the- well, I'm using the gamepad if you couldn't tell. So I can literally get my finger, pick up this telescope on the thing, and I can put it on the buttons. I don't think I can actually show you exactly what's on the gamepad. Like, in live footage, like as a video. So this is about as good as the gamepad interface as you're gonna get, probably. So, sorry, but let's put it on Y. And, what we can do is we can move it, we can zoom in with the left stick, look around with the right stick, or the gamepad! But it's kind of awkward. Now, what's we looking for? Big brother, are you going to zoom in? Because you should. Let's look at our house. Oh, and postman. <clears throat> the postman looks kind of weird, doesn't he? Yeah, he, he does a bit. Ah, does The sky! Look up in the sky! Where, where, where?
whose tree is cartoony and in 2D when the rest of the world is 3D? Daz, this is so terrible! That girl fell into the forest, she needs help! But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you can use to defend yourself. Well, I guess in the next le lesson? No, in the next... Jeez, I'm messing this up already. In the next episode, we're going to see if we can go find that mysterious woman who fell into the very crappy, cartoony 2D forest. Yeah, alright. My name's been Daz. You don't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.